Good morning, Terrorbots. Today is Thursday, May 11th, 2023. My name is Cypress, and this is Newsbots Cat Free for 2023. Welcome to News Fights. My name is Hunter. Cat Free. Does that mean we're giving away free cats? No, Hunter, but, but I wish. Unfortunately, this world fame has gotten to Bosco's head, making requests to the school all the school can afford, so... So, time to renegotiate the contract. I get it. You may say that Bosco and his tuna have something in common. They've both been canned. Good one, Hunter. I think the producer came with the perfect solution. No pun intended. For more information, let's go to Andrea with What's New New Code. Good morning, Terabytes. My name is Andrea and What's New New Code. Well, for our top story, it's about one of our own crew members, Bosco, the anchor of Musebytes has been let go from Terabyte Productions. It seems Bosco has been making a stream request, not for not just for pay one million per episode, but on his uh, hospitality writer is asking for a dressing room, fresh Japanese blue fin tuna each week, a king size cat tower, and a designed litter box. In this statement, Terabyte Production producer, Mr. Cannon says, We were sad to have to part ways with Bosco. He was a very talented feline. But, unfortunately, when we tried to contact Bosco to negotiate, we heard nothing. So what's wrong, Bosco? Cat got your tongue? Well, that's the cat's mail. That's all for this week. See you next week. Bye. Hey there! Get it? Hi? Hey there? Ha uh, ha. Huh. Welcome to Metabot Weather. My name is Frosty Bridges, and I'm here with your could be forecast. You know, with Minnesota weather, you never know what you're going to get. Could be sunny, could be rainy. Even if the forecast says sunny, could be stormy by the end of the day. But, at least for now, it looks like scattered thunderstorms today and Saturday. Clouds on Friday and rain on Sunday. Gonna need your umbrella? Could be. From Monday on, looks like we'll be seeing some warmer, sunnier weather in the mid to upper 70s. Gonna need your sunscreen? Could be. Gonna be what I forecasted? Could be. Will it reach 80? Could be. Will it snow? Could be. You never know in Minnesota. With summer vacation just three short weeks away, I decided to share some cool bug facts. Summer is the only season that you can see lightning bugs or fireflies glow. The rest of the year they hide underground. A special type of one is called the ghost firefly. It glows blue-green. Crickets make different chirping noises depending on the air temperature. The hotter it is, the faster they chirp. Bees use water to stay cool. They bring water droplets back to their hives, then fan the water with their wings. Instant air conditioning. Dragonflies do headstands to stay cool in the summer heat as they turn their bodies away from the sun. They love summer, though, as there are plenty of mosquitoes for them to eat. Watch out during the full moons in the summertime as they increase mosquito activity by almost 500%. 
This is because mosquitoes use visual cues to find their next meal, which is easier to do by the light of a full moon. And finally, if you need a little luck this summer, look for a ladybug to land on you. Some people think that if a ladybug lands on you and you count its spots, it will predict how many years of good luck you have ahead. Now you know! Hi everyone and welcome to this week of Eating with Eden, which is the last week. We have come so far making so many recipes together and this is the last one unfortunately. <sighs> well, so now to just to kick off the summer, we're going to make blueberry scones. Now, this is my family's favorite one that I make. It's a great breakfast. It's a great breakfast also, but it could also be a great midday snack or a dessert for lunch. Now, this recipe also works for pretty much any other type of scones you want to make. Raspberry and white chocolate or just regular chocolate and, of course, mainly blueberries. So what you're going to need is two cups all-purpose flour or two cups gluten-free all-purpose flour and then one third a cup granulated sugar, half a teaspoon salt, but that's only if your butter is unsalted. If your butter is salted, you don't need any salt to add then. And then one tablespoon baking powder, half a cup, one stick unsalted butter, grated or very frozen. So what it means by that is you're going to want to take a pastry blender, which is almost like this U-shaped utensil. I unfortunately don't have one here in my kitchen, but something else great that works is a fork or two butter knives. Now that's something everyone has in their kitchen, I assume. And then you're going to need half a cup cream or buttermilk. And then you're going to need one large egg, two teaspoon vanilla extract, and, and then of course fresh blueberries, one cup to be exact. Now you can also make this if you like a vanilla glaze, one cup powdered sugar, three tablespoon milk and more if needed, and then half a teaspoon vanilla. So now let's get started and I'll tell you how to incorporate all these greens together. So in a large bowl you're going to want to mix the flour, the sugar, the salt if needed, and the baking powder. And then leave that off to the side for now. And then you're going to want to crumble the butter using your pastry blender or your two butter knives or, or your fork in another bowl. And then another bowl, so you're going to need three bowls for this. You're going to want to whisk together your egg, buttermilk or cream, and vanilla extract. And then you're going to want to mix all those ingredients together, the butter, the dry ingredients, and the liquid ingredients. And then make sure they are a good mixture and stir together until, moist, until moistened. And the mixture should hold very well together and it should be like this big one ball of scone. And then you're going to roll it out and so now let's do this together. So now, I don't have any parchment paper right now, but a great replacement is this. A silicone baking mat. And now these of course are reusable and they're very great to use for things like cookies and french macaroons and of course scones. So now, so now we're going to grab some flour and we're going to just spread it out around our counter and make sure your surface is clean since you are going to be rolling your dough in here. Okay, so now we flattened it out so that way we can cut them into slices and then put them on the baking mat. And so they should be around it, so it should be around an eight inch circle and with about three fourth an inch thick. So now we're going to grab a knife and cut it and make sure to lightly flour the knife. Okay, so I've lightly floured my knife and I washed it too. So now you can, a butter knife would probably be the best. And so now you're just going to just nicely cut it from the center like this. So now you're just going to grab one of these. And they should look like a nice little triangle. So now you're just going to lightly place it away from each other, but not too close to the edge of the tray. So I try to make them as even as I could. Um, I think they look pretty good. They look like chocolate chips from the camera, but these are actually blueberries. Um, 
Okay, so I sprinkled some sugar and I put a bit of English on just so we can give it a nice glossy look while it's baking in the oven. But before we put it in the oven, we're going to put it into the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes or you can put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Well, I'm going to put it in the freezer because it's faster and easier. I get bored during this so maybe you could just like, I don't know, watch some videos. Hey, what the evil chickens lay? Deviled eggs. <laughs> okay, so now they have been done freezing with. So now we're gonna put this in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna put it for around 24. And so the oven should be at 400 degrees. And, and so now we're going to put it in. Here's how they are doing in the oven. Okay, so the oven just rang and they are ready to come out. Oh my goodness, guys. These look so good. I cannot wait to try them. They look so good. Let's... Okay, let's let them cool down for a minute. I'm going to put them on one of my baking racks. Oh, there's Tiger Lily. And we're going to let them cool them. Okay, they have cooled down now. So we're going to take a bite of them and try them. These are so good, guys. You have, you and your family just have to make these over the summer. As a breakfast, as a breakfast, or if you're having friends over. These, because these are like just so good and they are just so good and delicious okay guys well that brings us to the end of the of the for last eating with eden it has been so great to work with you guys and to make recipes with you guys um i really enjoyed i really enjoyed this and i hope you guys have too have a great summer vacation guys <laughs> Well, that brings us to an end of this week's episode of News Bites, Caffrey for 2023. You know, Cypress, it has been kind of nice not having Bosco and his attitude around here this week. Kind of like... You humans have messed with Bosco for the last time. Cats are superior beings and expect to be treated as such. Prepare to face the consequences. <laughs> Well, that was weird. And stepped on my line, which is totally unacceptable. But what did he mean by prepare to face the consequences? Not sure, Hunter, but I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Make sure we see you for our final episodes of News Bites. I'm very sad about that. But, <clears throat> yeah, thanks for watching, and remember to take a bite out of learning more. Delicious, delicious. I don't know what it is. <laughs> nope, never mind. Hmm.